what is up guys it's Mike to here welcome to my youtube channel and most of all welcome to my gothic 3 playthrough the playthrough of the Hushishin dark mage the surf of the belly are probably the last episode of this playthrough most likely where we're gonna kill Zubin first of all and second of all gonna go full build before fulfilling the prophecy of Balear and thus finally finally beating this game for a third and final time aside from the hardcore run which is future plans once I'm able to straighten you know so without much delay let's get this done for once and for all Alright, so let's go to Ishtar. Kill Zubin. And then getting my remaining skills, if possible. Could be that most of the trainers are already dead. Such as the trainer for staff combat. But that remains to be seen. It's time for Zubin to meet his fate. Lo, the man from the north has returned. What news do you bring me? Beliar spoke to me. Yes. He said your time is over. Your final hour has come! You're stronger than I anticipated, Zubin. I will send you to Belia. I don't have to play nice to win. Swords, not so a master swordsman, but he's dead, and I leveled up. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Teach me something about being a smith. Then that's how it's going to be. 
Let me quickly check at um. Or city. I knew something like that would happen. I'm pretty sure I know that in the desert I could get blueprint for this uh, for Zubin's blades, and those are better than mine. Well, Zubin isn't because those are worn. But I can basically finish the game on my character's not finished yet. You're about to die. <laughs> Show me your goods. See, Moth Sword. Also, get the long sword. Let me see which blueprints I don't have yet. Don't have yet. Broadsword, long sword, rune sword. Oh, I need lightning bolt ASAP. Even though I can only make that blade once. But I do want that one. If I find a, a, a spell of rune, lightning, or whatever it was, I will buy it. Oh, we can't afford this shit, of course. <laughs> Let's get him 20. I wasn't paying attention. Holy shit. 15,000 for those alone. He can have 33,000 in total. What do I need for the Master Sword? Hunting skill, really? Well, I can make that happen. 200 turn, eh? But I do want a Rune Sword. Lightning Bolt. Let me check at each start for a scroll of lightning bolt. Because I sold a lot of stuff there. Mostly weapons though. Do I have a King Sorel? I don't think I do anything. Do I? I have three. Oh, would you look at that. Which means I can make some permanent potions. The only thing I don't have is flameberry. Hey, thank you. 15 gold, I eh? 15k.
Ah, uh, fuck it, let me just waste it into a hunting. I don't really need it anyways. Strength is way above requirement. Let's craft one rune blade and one master sword. I need katanas for that one. Got some katanas. Where am I supposed to find katanas? Maybe I sold some to the Hammer Clan. Those katana. Oh, those are those expensive blades. The uh, ones that you find. I sold those a long time ago. Really doesn't matter, you know, to have the weapon spot. I prefer to fill up the details. Do you have a katana? Yeah, it's gonna be ch uh, challenging to recall where I sold those. Ah, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just finish the game. I'm really done with this game, <laughs> you know? <laughs> After beating it three times.
300. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to know how much value I have. But 300, I didn't expect that one. But, um... Let's train the thieving capabilities. You know, I can get the last weapon, but it's really not that important. The only thing that I basically have to do is activate the shrine. The liberating and etc. is already done. That's the way. Good. Good. You don't have the necessary experience. So I still need 42 thieving. 49. 57. 69. 77. 77, yeah, so 77 learning points for thieving alone, mm. plus 8 that I have to learn. Mm, how much shall I do? 90, I, I'm going to do 100, which is equal to 10 levels, okay? So, 100 learning points is equal to 10 levels, which means my character will now have the stats of a level 89. Should be enough to get my thieving, at least. But on that does not mean that my character will be full built. Teach me something about thievery. <clears throat> Carry on. Carry on like that. That's the way. Carry on like that. Carry on. That's the way. <clears throat> Good. That's the way. Teach me something about haggling. No, I can't do that. You'll have to pay more for that. Listen, I paid you, so teach me. But look, you can already do it. And when you're trading, you'll see that you get better prices. Teach me how to pick impossible locks. These locks are secured two and three times. You have to feel very carefully with the lock pick for the right place in the lock. Then you can open the lock with a quick twitch. But watch out, it sounds easier than it is. Teach me how to pick impossible pockets. You've known the necessary hand movements for a while. You're right-handed, aren't you? Always keep your right hand moving. Wave it around, right in front of his nose is best. That will distract him so that you can safely grab with your left hand. <laughs> Believe me, that trick always works. I want to be a master thief. Now let's go to each star to learn murder. Then thieving is maxed, but not everything. I want to learn the death blow. Sure. All right, so now we have to learn acrobatics, endurance of the wolf, resistance to disease, and poison. These two are optional. Wow. 
where can I get those? Endurance of the Wolf from Bogea, but he's away. Um, Acrobat. Hmm. Let me first learn the resistance. Because acrobatics and endurance of the wolf I already have on my, on my other pass. The only thing that I don't have, I, I did by the way, on Enos. Or Beliar, uh, Adenos. Yeah, Adenos. Adenos I had resistance to disease and poison. So it's really ne not necessary. The only thing that I really need is star fighting, but uh, I fear that all the trainers are dead. There are only two trainers that can teach you that. And I'm pretty sure I killed them all. One of which is one of the water mages. But he's dead, you know, all of them. And the other one is at the oasis, so I think he's dead as well. So, I had a total need of 85 learning points. So I've got 15 learning points too much. Let me erase that. 85, which equal to 8.5 level. Uh, 8 levels is decent enough, you know, because of the fact that, because I've learned quickly every level, I get one learning point extra. So that is, you know, 8 is fair to say, 8 levels. 7 to 8 levels, let's just say 8 maximum, which means that my character has currently the stats of a level 80... How much? Damn it, I lost it again. <laughs> um, 85... 8.5, let's say... 85 learning points, right? Yeah, I spawned 185, yeah. Okay. Estimately about a character of level 85 to 87-ish. I'm not quite sure out of my head, but uh... I consider my character full build. You know, fuck it. I just want to finish the game, you know. So, uh, let the prophecy of Beliar be fulfilled. Oh, I was already in Bakarash. Trollolol. I'll make sure that everything will be noted in the playlist's description. You know, when it comes to character build, when it comes to level, the amount of learning points that I had to cheat, etc. Everything will come into those playlists. Come. Shut up! Those who have drawn his wrath. Shall tremble. So pay with your gold, else you shall pay with your blood. Beliar knows no mercy. There is no pity for the weak. The most important traits my character my character has, which is max max thieving, you know, combat capabilities, dual swords. Bow he only used due to the fact that you know he had little mana issues early, so uh, he decided to use bow. Well, I decided to use the bow. But it's not really part of the build, you know. But nevertheless, we finally beat it the game. Yeah. Now Forsaken Gods are wait. No. You you know, it's easy to notice that I'm not really looking forward to play uh, Forsaken Gods, but let me first save here. So I want to thank you guys for watching and if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button if you want to see a gothic series hardcore run. And I hope to see you guys in any of my other videos. Whether it's gothic 3 forsaken gods, whether it's, you know, any game that will come on my channel. I hope to see you guys there as well. Because every game that I touch I will turn to 100%. Let's fulfill Belial's prophecy and beat this playthrough, finally.
Zardas has lost his power. So fair all who oppose me. The orcs have paid for their treachery. You have exercised my vengeance on them. Zubin's time is over. As he served me in life, so shall he serve me in death. The king of Mertana is dead. The power of Venus is broken. His people will despair. Beliar, your will has been fulfilled. You are victorious. For that, I will now grant you a vision of the future. Thanks. That's what I wanted to hear. For many years, Lee thirsted for the king's life. Because of Robar's betrayal of him, King Robar is dead. Now Lee's revenge is finally complete. Gorn will stay in Gotha and rebuild the old castle. It will become a place of refuge for all those not destroyed by the war. The reign of the orcs is broken. The human rebellion is defeated. And although the last rebelling humans were defeated, one day the humans will rise again and return to their cities. The rule of the Hashishin will flourish and soon spread across the whole land of Mertana. The culture of the nomads will vanish from the sands of the desert. Diego will become my treasurer. He will manage the wealth that accumulates in my treasuries. Lester will finally find his long-sought rest in Braga and transform the hot sands of the desert into fruitful farmland for his swamp weed. Angar is weary of fighting and will find a peaceful life in isolation among the ruins of Varent. In the mountains of Nordmar, life will soon go on as usual. The barbarians will finally recover the land of their ancestors. It will become quiet in the White Mountains of Nordmar. Milton will remain in the monastery and study the writings of the Ancient Ones. As an old gray man, he will become the wisest of the wise and pass the ancient knowledge on to his students. It will take some time for him to see that my decision was the right one. And Loris? Well, I am sure he will always be right where there is something to be had. Well now, was that all of them? We'll see. Only one thing is certain. All will be well.